Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite looks for the autumn season ahead. And I also thought that these would be super appropriate if you live in the Northern Hemisphere and you're starting to transition from winter to spring. I'm going to be sharing nine different outfits and as you're going to see, a lot of them are in a really earthy and neutral color palette. And you're going to see a lot of old favorites popping up. You know me, I am definitely a creature of habit. Some of the key pieces that I know I'm going to be reaching for a lot this autumn include this tan linen blazer, some polka dots because you know it's one of my favorite prints, stripes because they are really a classic wardrobe essential that I can't be without, and I also want to put in a bit of a pop of color with this gorgeous pink coat. For this first look, I'm wearing some boyfriend jeans, which are a style that I really want to wear a lot more this year. I've tucked in a navy sweater and I've worn a belt at the waist as well, which I think really helps to pull this whole look together. I've paired it with some of my favorite sandals, which I've worn a lot over the summer, just because I know it doesn't get too cool here in Sydney during autumn. The second outfit is definitely a lot more spring-like. I've gone for really earthy neutral tones with an open knit sweater paired with my white denim skirt and my favorite two-tone pumps. These are an excellent dupe for the Chanel two-tone pumps and I highly recommend them if you wanna get that luxe look for a lot less. But I adore this outfit and I really like the way that the blazer finishes off the whole look. This third outfit is focused on this absolutely gorgeous silk slip dress. I've used it as a layering piece, so I've worn it over the top of a skivvy and I've thrown one of my favorite faux leather jackets on the top. I like how this is a really blank canvas and as you can see, it pairs really effortlessly with my new Canada scarf from Acne. I got it in the camel and I absolutely love how this pops against the all black outfit. I feel like this is also one of those outfits that I'll wear a lot in winter too, just with a pair of black tights as well. Now this is the kind of really relaxed outfit that I would wear to work. I'm wearing polka dots, but this top is just a little bit extra. It has really gorgeous fluted ruffle sleeves, which are a bit different and really playful and whimsical. I've paired it with these really great work trousers from Uniqlo. I really like these and I love how low maintenance they are too. They just look very classic and chic. And on my feet, I'm wearing my Charlotte Olympia kitty flats. This next outfit is centered around some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe right now. I've got my Isabel Laurent silk ruffle dress, which I bought pre-loved from The Real Real, and I'm so happy with this find. I've paired it with this linen blazer from Yoli and Otis, and I love how they really match quite perfectly. And then I've thrown on my Paul Andrews slingback heels. I just love the muted color palette, and I feel like this is a really great one for the office. I feel like this is the kind of outfit that you see all over Pinterest. That huge funnel neck sweater tucked into some denim and then a great little ankle booty. This is the type of outfit I am so excited to wear this autumn and also winter just with tights as well. The sweater is easily going to become one of my favorite pieces for autumn and winter and these boots with the buckle detail I know are going to be a huge wardrobe staple as well. I really don't think that you could have a more classic combination than stripes, a leather skirt, and some loafers. I feel like this navy wool coat from Stella McCartney helps to take this outfit to the next level. This was a huge investment piece for my wardrobe. I picked it up as a 30th birthday present for myself and I couldn't be happier with it. I love how it looks worn loose, but as you can see, it also looks great buttoned up and it would look great with some skinny jeans or a boyfriend fit jean as well. To make my outfit a little bit cozier, I've also thrown on my older Acne Studios Canada scarf. This is in the gray and I've had this for about three or four years now and it is still going strong. It's a great investment if you're thinking of spending a little bit more on a wool scarf. This next outfit is one that you definitely will have seen if you follow my blog. I really love the mix of different textures in this outfit, from the silk cami to the denim with frayed edge hem to the really luxurious cashmere sweater, which is super cozy. I've also worn my gray Dior slingbacks, which matches really nicely with the cashmere sweater. 
To make this outfit a little bit more playful and fun, I'm throwing on my Karen Walker coat. I adore this. I picked it up last year after wanting it for many years and I love the silhouette. I like the fact that it's more of a swing coat and then it has a really sweet Peter Pan style collar. I haven't really seen anything else like this and I'm gonna make a major effort to wear it a lot this year. My final outfit is a super simple one and this is the kind of thing that you would catch me wearing on an easy weekend at home. A really lovely two-tone knit cashmere sweater, some high-waisted skinny jeans, I love ones that taper in at the ankle, and a trusty black ankle boot. I love these ones from Everlane and I do think that they're a really great alternative to the Acne Studios Jensen boots. They're a much more reasonable price and I love that silver zipper detail. I think it just makes them look a little bit more luxe. So those are my autumn outfits. I'd love to know which one was your favorite and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon, bye.